Back in 1997, my son, who was five at the time, two of my nephews, and my husband, who was in a truck behind us because he had to bring a ladder over uh, to the family holiday dinner we were going to. He was in the truck behind us. Um, my nephews wanted to go with me as they always loved spending time with me. And I had my son in the car. When we had left the house, uh, driving on one of the main roads to go to the family dinner, um, an old man had ran a stop sign and literally crashed into us. It was, an, it was a horrific car accident where a lot of people stopped. And my understanding was 911 had never received so many calls like this accident. Um, when the man struck my vehicle, he hit it on the right side of the front end of the car. However, the impact came in on the left side, thank goodness, because that's where I was driving the vehicle and had it had hit it a little bit more on the right, I would have been living a life of a nightmare because that's where my son was. After the impact, uh, I literally got crushed into my chest and abdomen area. Uh, my leg was caught under the dashboard. Um, my son was bleeding a little bit under his nose. My husband immediately uh, got out of the truck and ran over to us and um, he went over to my son because he could see visible blood and he did the absolute right thing as any mother would sacrifice her life for her child. So he did the right thing. At that time, I realized I couldn't breathe anymore. I couldn't even expand my lungs to get any oxygen in at all. I just couldn't do it. And I realized that this is it this is where I'm going to die. And I remembered looking around at my nephews and my son and just looking at them and, and, and just feeling blessed that they were okay. But I just, I, I couldn't breathe for the life of me. And all of a sudden, then the next thing that happened after realizing that I couldn't breathe, my whole entire life flashed in front of me which seemed like a split second, but it was so large. It was so much, literally my entire life. After that had happened, I knew I was dying, dead. After that review, I ended up somewhere that I didn't recognize. I never saw in my lifetime, I had no idea what it was. I did not see any lights. I did not have anyone helping me cross over, like I know some people have had, I did not have that experience. However, when I landed there, it was the most peaceful place. Unlike anything we have here, it was the most peaceful place. And I remember feeling a presence, it was, very male dominant presence. However, I did not see a man who was very protective, very loving, um, very peaceful. Also upon arriving there, um, I remember looking around, but I had a strong knowing without, you could call it mental telepathy, but it wasn't anyone speaking to me. It was basically knowing that I had to look at my physical body and say goodbye to it. Um, I remember my head was on the left side, my feet were to the right, and I was across from my body. I never felt any type of floating sensation or anything, but I realized my eyes were closed. Um, I wasn't breathing and I was saying goodbye for good to that physical body, even though our physical body even here is dead. It's just the vessel that's carrying our soul. So once out of my body and saying goodbye to my physical body, I remember looking around everywhere um, just because I didn't know where I was. 
And it was an incredible feeling. And I looked around everywhere and everything was in great contrasts of grays, blacks, and whites. Um, looking far ahead, it was infinity, which I feel blessed to be able to have seen what infinity looks like. Um, also, I did take note that uh, there were absolutely no windows, no ceiling, no floors. There was no temperature. There was no time, no schedule and absolutely no worry or fear of anything. I also remember uh, saying to myself, my God, this is home. This is truly home. We all have a home here. After looking around, um, I was also very, and I feel very privileged uh, for this experience after a lot of download of information and and this i would have to literally probably write one or two books uh to get all that information in there um all of a sudden i was presented with colors beautiful colors and we have absolutely beautiful colors here on earth and artists do amazing with their work in incorporating so many variations of colors. However, the colors there are just so vivid, so bright, so different, just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, mind-blowing, literally mind-blowing. Um, after getting all the download of information, saying goodbye to my body, uh, being able to see a lot of different things that, that do go on it, on earth with explanations and understanding. Um, and after being presented with colors, I remember after looking at my body again to leave my body as I was going somewhere, I my body started, well, not my body, it would be my soul. So I just want to uh, make sure that that's understood because my soul never stayed in my dead physical body. It completely came out and that's where all the observations, the knowledge and the information came in to my soul, not my physical body. At one point I started to, my soul started to turn at about a 35 to 40 degree angle to the left as I was leaving and no longer going back into that physical body. However, that was also at the moment where I got pulled back. Um, I was in the trauma unit with tons of doctors, nurses, so many people in the room. And uh, they tried to stabilize me. It took them over six hours to stabilize me. And as I understood from my husband, who was running back and forth for me to my son because we did take him to the emergency room. He was taken there to make sure he was okay. So my husband was literally running back and forth between the two of us. And at one point they did talk to my husband and tell them that we don't know if we're gonna be able to save her, but we're doing everything we can to stabilize her right now. And they eventually did. It was a little bit, I think after midnight, uh, after about six hours, um, the aftermath of all that um, was horrendous. I had sustained so many internal injuries. Um, I had to, I actually stopped counting at 30, 35 surgeries, but realistically between the surgeries and all the invasive procedures that I had to go through, I'm um, probably easily in the fifties at the least. Um, however, I thank all of them all the time because they did save me. I had to go through over over 10 years of physical therapy, aqua therapy. I had to literally learn how to breathe correctly again as I couldn't expand. And I was doing very shallow breathing. I had to learn how to, you know, move my arms properly, my legs. It was it was a long process. I was in a wheelchair. I did have uh, spinal, internal. I had a lot of injuries. Um, I lost 
a lot of parts of my body uh, that I bled internally from. They did try to operate and save uh, certain parts of my body that would just start to bleed internally from the impact and the injuries. They just couldn't function properly that I was literally bleeding to death. So I would come home after a surgery or having to be rushed to the emergency room. And then um, a week or two later, I'm back in the operating room. I also had a lot of complications with pregnancy. I lost, uh, I had four miscarriages uh, due to the complications. All of my kids were born very premature. Um, one was one pound, two ounces. One was two pound, 12 ounces. And one was four pounds, 14 ounces. However, the big blessing is they've all done well with absolutely no problems. In other words, you can decipher for yourself between the good and the bad. And our ultimate goal, purpose, however you want to label it, but the understanding is to always be a better soul, do better, always elevate yourself and elevate and elevate. Because at some point, once you get to a certain level of elevating in such good energy, I can't tell you how many souls reach back out to me and say, Daniela, I never saw any of this coming and how amazing all these beautiful things are entering my world. Well, the point being is we all have a bio field, right? And I mean, people like to call it personal space, but it's your bio field that people are stepping into and you start to get these different feelings. Um, but the more you bring in to yourself and you put out, that's all that's going to come around you. You know, when you, when you put all that negative, it, it, you actually get on a, on a roller coaster, a Ferris wheel that just keeps going round and round and that's all you're entertaining it, you know, with. So, um, you know, I do, I lecture that as well because it is so important. It is so important to be the best of the best in everything you do. And I don't, I'm not saying that in a competitive way, I'm talking about an inner soul. Do the right things, do the good things, address everything through love and caring and respect and understanding. Don't ever judge, judging people. I know people that have been labeled horrendously and guess what? They didn't even have that problem, but because they were labeled, it shut them down in their lifetime. That's pretty damaging. 